Hello and welcome to whathifi.com. We're here at the seaside town of Worthing, the home of Bowers and Wilkins, to see how they make their loudspeakers and to witness the launch of the 800 Diamond Series. There are five loudspeakers in the 800 Diamond Series, of which this model, the 802 Diamond, is near the top of the range. Uh, this particular model, like all of them, benefits from a new improved tweeter design using Diamond Dome technology. Very complicated, very expensive to implement. It also has a completely revised magnet assembly, which the company calls the Quad Magnet Motor System. What that's claimed to do is deliver a more transparent sound with less coloration and less distortion than the existing system used in the last generation of loudspeaker. On top of that, the company has also worked hard to improve bass response. These loudspeakers now have a new dual magnet assembly on their bass drivers, plus improvements to the drive unit technology as well to give cleaner and more transparent bass. As you can see, the 800 Diamond Series looks very familiar. Uh, anybody who knows this loudspeaker from its last uh, few iterations will recognise it immediately. But then, of course, it's a design classic, so why would you bother to change it too much? But what Bowers and Wilkins has done is introduced a couple of subtle finish enhancements and plenty of high-quality internal tweaks to make this legendary range of loudspeakers sound even better. Bowers and Wilkins is very proud of the fact that the 800 Series Diamond Range is now constructed entirely in the UK. Building each speaker is a unique combination of state-of-the-art computer-aided construction techniques and good old-fashioned hand finishing. So for example, after the internal matrix that makes each loudspeaker perform so well has been carefully cut by machine, the final business of putting each loudspeaker cabinet together is carried out by hand, including carefully inserted damping materials to make sure each loudspeaker performs to its best. After each cabinet has been finished, they're sent off for a hand finish before being put through a state-of-the-art paint shop and given several coats of paint in order to deliver the high-end finish required for a pair of loudspeakers in this price class. Once the cabinets have been finished, it's a case of fitting out each loudspeaker with the appropriate drive units. As before, Bowser Wilkins is using its Kevlar weave technology to deliver the maximum quality across its mid-range and base drive units. One of the major changes in the 2010 series range is the extension of the Diamond Dome technology, which has been used previously only in the most expensive models in the 800 series. It's now available in every single one, hence the 800 series Diamond name. Each Diamond Series tweeter has to be specially grown in a laboratory to create the optimum combination of tonal purity and clarity. It's extraordinarily expensive and complex to do. Bowers and Wilkins wouldn't tell us how much, but we're guessing lots. Once each unit has been put together in terms of its drive units, the final process is to complete the cabinet, offer up all the drive units into each loudspeaker before final testing and quality control to ensure all the standards are met. Then it's a case of packaging each loudspeaker and getting it off to the shops. So there we have it, that's our day at Worthing looking at the 800 Diamond Series launch. Here you can see the full 800 Diamond Series range. We've got the 805 Diamond, the comparatively affordable model in the lineup, £3,750 per pair, running up through a series of ever larger floor standards to this, the quite extraordinary, rather sculptural form of the 800 Diamond, £18,500 per pair, as you can see, a quite staggering looking loudspeaker. So we look forward to bringing you a review of these and many other models in the loudspeaker range very shortly. Uh, in the meantime, please check back on whathifi.com for more news and updates as we can get them.